Well, hey there, YouTube. What's going on? It's your neighborhood redneck back at you again. And well, I finally made it to the big screen. Well, not really. But speaking of screens, we're going to check out this one here from L Crew. Let's take a gander. We're going to add a sensor panel monitor to the tower today. So I went and chose the L Crow 5 inch display. Now this display works with Raspberry Pi and uh, Windows and other applications possibly. It depends on what you're looking for. Um, this one has a touch display also. So let's check it out. I think this is a display dash B. Service card, quick start. Um, the Elcro, yep, display dash B on the user manual. I think the only difference between the A display and the B display is where the HDMI port is. Get your driver disc, but um, this is plug and play on Windows. All right, so this is an 800 by 480 panel. Um, Get some glare off of it there. Looks like it comes pre-installed. Screen protector again, still on there. Um, you got your standoff mounting points here. And you got full HDMI. And you got two USB micro ports. Um, one is for power and one says it's to power the touch display, but I powered just one of them and was working touch display just fine with it. And you got your 3.5 millimeter audio out. And then on this end, let's see here. You got a power button, return, your uh, up, down, left, and a menu button. All right here on the end. Easy to get to. I picked this up on Amazon. I'll put a link to this in the description. See what cables came with it. Looks like we got USB A to uh, micro USB power. Short, flat HDMI cable came with it. Very short. Um, I won't be able to use this for what I'm doing, but for uh, Raspberry Pi, maybe. Looks like we got some screws and standoffs. Um, might be able to use these. I don't know if I'll be able to use these in my application. And it looks like they sent us a micro HDMI to a full HDMI adapter. So, uh, I think inside behind the basement panel here is where it's going to go. So, it's plastic. I think it'll be easy to cut and uh, easy to mount back in place. Go ahead and figure out the dimensions of the screen display we want in there. Uh, something like that. Figure out how we're gonna attach it. It'll be good to go. So I got some measurements made here and I uh, scored them out with a razor knife. And uh, it seems to be cutting pretty easy and this is pretty thin plastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead and score with a razor knife and just keep scoring until I cut measure twice. Cut once, I almost messed up and made it an inch too short, but luckily I, I saved it. So I'm just gonna keep scoring, like I said, until we get this piece cut out and we'll mount the screen in. Scoring it didn't seem to work. Um, thicker than I thought it would be. So I went ahead and drilled like a three quarter inch hole here. Well, it's actually like 11 sixteenths. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use just a hand saw here that's got a metal blade in it, fine fine tooth and uh, cut all of this out by hand here so we'll get her done okay so I finally got the basement panel cut and the center panel inside of it so uh, here it is from the front side then on the back side I did it uh, 
J2 cinch style. I went ahead and just used a hot glue gun and I got up pretty good along the top, along the edges, all along that one side there. It's in there pretty good. Get it all put back together. So I snagged this uh, HDMI cable here. I'll put uh, another link in the description. Got it off Amazon. Um, the one they sent with the Elcro, Elcro screen wasn't long enough to reach my graphics card from where I'm gonna route it. And I wanted a thinner one. Hopefully I didn't get it too short. I would love to order another one, but. Uh, should be plenty long enough. I think it was like a 1.6 feet. And to power it, I didn't want to run another cable out to USB, so I got a micro USB to a four pin for uh, your motherboard for an extra fan header. Um, that'll be easy. Make the routing simple. So we got. Um, focus our camera. Micro USB-C here. And on the other end you get a 4 pin. For a fan header. Alright. So I got the basement put back in the tower. Got the monitor mounted in it. Um, the micro USB to 5 pin header cable that I got. Um, actually runs to the USB header here. It's hard to see. Then uh, comes through the basement and plugs right into the El Elcro screen. And I got the HDMI cable here plugged in, running underneath the basement to the back side of the tower, um, behind the motherboard, and then up on top of the basement here. And I got this panel here that's got uh, holes cut out for wires and other things to go through. It's hard to see. Come on, focus. And that just runs through there and up into the graphics card here for my secondary display. Right. Let's power this up for the first time. Hopefully everything goes well. Elcro. Well, that's good that we got display. No signal. It's because we got to get it back into Windows and set everything up. Awesome. And I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, A to 64 and set up a sensor panel monitor. So let's get it done. So to start things off here, I went to my settings, um, to my system, and then to my display. Made sure that my main display stayed my main display and that the Elcro was running in the right direction that I wanted, the 800 by 480 Then I headed to ADA64.com and downloaded their extreme version. Um, version 6.32, I believe. Um, got that installed. And after I got that installed, I opened it and immediately went to my preferences and made sure that um, it was allowed to start up during Windows startup and that it was minimized to the system tray so that it didn't get closed. Then I went to the sensor panel options and made sure that it was running the 800 by 480 that I wanted and I made sure I locked it and prevented it from being minimized. Then if you hit show panel, you can see it here on the screen. So to make changes, um, or to begin with, you're gonna have to go ahead and uh, right click on the sensor panel and that'll bring up your modifications. And from there you can go to new and right here, so your options, it's pretty much self-explanatory. As you start clicking on it, you'll figure it out. Um, I found it easier to move them later on. Ahead and drag this panel onto the next screen, which is the Elcro panel that is in the rig here. Um, this usually snaps pretty good to the top and sides. So, here we go, get it over, right there, 
Here's all my information, everything I needed to know. I don't have to uh, stop what I'm doing or open up other programs. That's all right there. And over here on the home screen, um, you can just hit close on this and it just minimizes it to the taskbar for me. So, can't see it. And that's how I did my Ada 64 sensor panel install. Um, I have the links to in the description for everything I used. Um, be easy to find.